so can, bizarre. Can you give me a little intro to the next Whack-A-Mole? Welcome to Mazzy's Whack-A-Mole. What number Post is it? COVID. <laughs> Post COVID. Post COVID Whack-A-Mole. Birthday Whack-A-Mole. When music started Birthday. sounding good again. Birthday. Post. Post COVID Whack-A-Mole. Birthday edition. <laughs> wow. Go. Look at this skyline, man. Wow. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. To Mazzy's birthday. Yes. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. So much news. Whack-a-mole, number 146, birthday edition. It's still my birthday for another couple hours. Thank you, uh, the archivist and, and the writer, Todd, for that introduction. I love it. Uh, if you've been watching the news, the Reverend, the Reverend has been rocking it with news flashes of Caddy, Caddyshack, Caddy, Chatty, Caddy, from Mo Fidelity, these secret hidden subliminal messages about UHQR. Fuck the boxes. Anyway, um, I'm a little wired this time. I wasn't wired in any of the last videos. This is my first drink I had tonight in like 12 days after the dreaded C disease, COVID disease. Whack-a-mole, five random pooks, pooks, pooks. Pooks is not a word. Pooks. One. Two. Three. Four, Ugh, five, when I was a young lad in 1966, taking drum lessons from a drummer named Art 4K to learn my flamadiddles, paradiddles, triplets, I actually was a drummer before I played guitar. And we all of a certain generation learned to play Wipeout by the Safaris. Okay, this is not the Safaris, this is the Ventures, but you know, a different take on it. But but Pipeline, Surf Rider, Barefoot Venture. This is Hang Ten Man. When well, you're in California now, so I, I was talking to someone about that when I in early like '63, I had a skateboard, and people said. Californians didn't have skateboards in 1963, and I did. It was before the fancy wheels and the whole thing. I was into a skateboard. I was a skateboarder at a young age, before the fancy, like, barrel piping, surfing things. But, um, okay, this has a surfer glossary. A surfer glossary, the Ventures, the greatest American instrumental Jaguar, Jazz Master, Guitar, Surf Bands. Cool stuff. Grammy man, come on, gremlin. Beginners of a young hangers-on who are troubled to be surfers. Hanging five. Five toes over the nose on front of the board, man. The heavies. Very big waves, man. 18 to 20, 20 feet for sure. Found only in Hawaii, man. See, I in California knew this. I know how to talk this kind of stuff. I can't do British accents, but I can do surf talk. Hot dogger. A great and showy performer on the board, man. Pseudo. Pretends he's a surfer, man, but he ain't. He isn't. All right? Dalton Records. Surf music. All right. Oh, you know, I grabbed two by mistake. One, one, two, three. Okay. I grabbed, I did a, two. okay, we're going to have a two for here because I grabbed two in the venture section. Okay. Walk, don't run. Down, 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 this is early surfers. Look at that fucking high hair shit. Isn't that great? Oh my God. United Liberty Records. 
Okay. Can I find the surfer? Okay, I got. I got. I got to tell you something. As a young lad, this since it's my birthday, I get a chance to talk about this. W Ventures. Okay. Talking about getting my rocks off. I bought this record as a as a young boy because of this cover. I mean, how old? I was 12, 13. I mean, I mean now it's nothing, but when you're 12 years old, oh, look at this, or 13 maybe. Oh, I'm just screaming in my jeans thinking about this. Okay, Telstar. Telstar is one of the great instrumentals. Lonely Bull, of course, Rebel Rouser, Honky Tonk, Pipeline. Again, walk don't walk don't run tequila Apat, Apache. This has probably this includes the greatest instrumentals of all time in surf guitar music. This record, I'm gonna go play this record now, and I haven't played this record in in so many in like what is it? This is like 53 year old record. Out of limits. Down 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 down. Down, 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 down. You know, there's not enough surf guitar music talk share, showcased here. This is fantastic. Okay, birthday music. Okay, next. Oh, of course. Proto punk, psychedelic. The Stooges Funhouse. I do have the big fucking 18 disc box or whatever it is. This is one of the greatest records ever made. Iggy Pop and Band Funhouse. Uh, this is a reissue. I never had Stooges albums when they came out. I didn't get into the Stooges until like the late 70s. But this is what a great record. I did see Iggy Pop years later around the Bowie period, 1970. So. This is 52 years old, fun house, and um, 1970. Oh, great record, great record. Don't need to say much more about that. Oh, there's a guy named E. Oliver, Wonderful Oliver Holmes, Oliver Edward, Oliver, whatever. He did two solo records under the name E. And then Geffen started his bands, and this was the debut. And I remember buying this record because there was an MTV video called Novocaine for the Soul, which just, it 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 bowled me over. This is very much like a Keen painting. I forgot the woman, who the photographer, who uh, did this for the cover of The Eels. The Eels basically is Mark Everett Oliver E. Uh, that's his project. Then different uh, musicians came in and went. Uh, he made a shitload of money, like on 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 Disney and Hollywood Records, like in Shrek. His his music was done everywhere. He had some issues with uh, depression. His sister committed suicide. But E, his records are fantastic, and this is a perfect record. The Eels, Eels, you, beautiful freak. Not even the Eels, but. Eels, Eels, what a great record. Every record, every, every every record, every song on this is just really, really wonderful. Highly recommended. Any of their records are great. Oh, God, I'm, 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 I'm pulling winners this time. The Kinks, Preservation Act One. Now, this is that period of time in RCA records when the Kinks, Ray Davis, Dave Davis, and Mick Avery, and, and everyone else, uh, was doing their conceptual, operatic, theatrical records. And some people didn't like it after the uh, reprise years, after the pie years, but I quite like this record. They did this, and then there's a volume two. Now, some would say you could edit the three records together because volume two was a double album into one. But what I love about this is morning song chorus. It's a, It's sort of a ambient instrumental reminds me of an opening of a Disney animation from the 1940s. Really beautiful. 
It goes into Daylight and Sweet Lady Genevieve. Where Are They Now? They talk about Christine Keeler, all these, like Mary Quant, all these Swing in London uh, participants in the United Kingdom, Carnaby Street, that whole thing. I really like this record. Some people like the second one better. Probably these three records could be whittled down to the one amazing record or a great double record. But the King's Preservation Act 1 RCA record, 1973, my first year I worked in retail record industry. And finally, now this is interesting. Um, I didn't love this when it came out, but I sure love this artist. Her second album of, this is her third album, I think. Uh, she did an album in between her second album and this with Kurt Vile, and that's the Aussie Courtney Barnett. I love Courtney Barnett. Her second, her first album is amazing. Her second album is my favorite. This is um, the third album called Courtney Barnett, Things Take Time, Take Time. Great cover. It reminds me of, oh, God, there's a jazz album cover. I can't reach right now. A Blue Note album cover that has a similar, uh, is it, uh, you get, someone's going to yell out what it is. But um, Courtney by, uh, Barnett, great songwriter, really creative lyricist. This took a while to grow on me, unlike the first two records, but still, Ray Street on up, great. So that's my five picks, plus a bonus Ventures. Double, we got a double uh, entry in the Ventures. Thank you, The Archivist, for coming over since I uh, had this COVID situation. She's been uh, with Todd away. And thank you for coming over, bringing us sushi, and we had cocktails and it was really a lovely birthday, so I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate uh, you. I do. As he loves you. See you next time.